Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog, artreallyhealth.com, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a two ingredient, all natural bubble bath. So to make a bubble bath, all you need is cast out soap and some vegetable glycerin. And that's it, it's super, super simple. Now if you want to, you can add in a couple tablespoons of aloe vera, that just helps it to be more moisturizing for the skin. And you can add in some lavender essential oil or any other oil that you want. Lavender is my favorite. So I love the idea of having a natural bubble bath because obviously you're soaking in it. And some of those conventional ones that you can get from the store are loaded with different chemicals that are very harsh on the skin. It can really be bad for people with eczema or psoriasis or someone that just has sensitive skin. And so this is something that you can feel good about soaking in. So all you're gonna need for this is one cup with the Castile soap and a half of a cup of the vegetable glycerin and then something to store it in. So I like to use just a glass mason jar with an airtight lid. So I'm just going to make it straight in there. This does not get any simpler. So we're doing the Castile soap which is very, very concentrated and it gets very bubbly. And then a half a cup of the vegetable glycerin and this also helps to make it a little bit thicker and it makes it kind of lather up more and get really sudsy. And then if you want to do aloe vera, you can just do two tablespoons of that. And then if you want to add an essential oil, like I said, I like a lavender, just a really calming oil in the bath. It's also really good for the skin. I just do about 15 drops of this, but you can leave that out if you want. So. That simple, that's all you have to do. So I'm going to put a lid on this and then before using it, I will give it a little shake and you can already see how it gets, oops, I guess I didn't have my lid on tight enough, how it gets bubbly. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up your bathtub with some warm water and then you're just gonna add in it depends on how much water you have, anywhere from two tablespoons to a fourth of a cup of the bubble bath into the water. So we have a big jacuzzi tub here in our master bathroom and so if we're taking in there, obviously we're gonna have more water and I'll do about a quarter of a cup of this solution. But if it's just in a normal size bathtub and it's not extremely deep, then you might only need a couple tablespoons. So you can decide how much you wanna put in there and kind of swish it around or put it underneath the stream of the water. So that's it guys, super simple to make. If you guys guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification I post two new videos every single week on essential oil education natural remedies and healthy recipes thank you so much for stopping by our Willie house